Now this first example has an add function that is impure. It takes an A and a B, adds the two together, as well as this data variable outside of the function. A very normal, simple, teensy-weensy closure example where this function can reference a variable outside of its scope even though it can enclose the actual data. And there's a lot of cool things you can do with closures, but this example makes it impure. We call add three times with the same inputs and get reasonably the same outputs. The problem is, is when you affect the world outside of it, it suddenly recognizes that it's not pure. And this is where the functional programmers get very frustrated. And on the reverse, the imperative programmers get extremely excited because they know that if this changes, I've got to remember that this changes outside. So the cognitive load or, oh my gosh, I got to keep track of all these things, I can make this problem go away so you don't have to worry about it anymore. You can focus on more important problems of programming now that you've leveled up. Watch what happens when we run this. If we run node pure versus not, you'll notice that it's 333, but then changes to 4. So same function gives completely different results on adding data because of something internally. Mathematically, this doesn't make sense. And you'll hear that phrase a lot, not necessarily because mathematicians created functional programming, but more about the one thing that programmers like that mathematicians have to offer is the concept of correctness. We write unit tests and integration tests and functional tests and TLA, fuzz tests, all these things to make sure that our software is mostly correct. It's all about making sure our software actually works. And so this core concept is influenced by either you remember this or B, this is illustrated in a test that it's different because of that outside state. And this is what the tests are usually trying to attack. So let's take a look at this pure function here, which is add pure. It takes A and a B, but notice it doesn't reference anything outside of itself. This is how you remove things and make things more pure by removing global variables. You remove things outside of itself. Regardless of what happens in the outside world, we don't care. We're always going to get the same input, same output. It seems really simple, but let's review it to drive the point home. It's always the same. It's always three, regardless of what happens. So one plus two will always equal three, regardless of what happens outside. This seems ridiculous how simple it is. And I promise you, it really is this simple. If you can memorize this and recognize why this gives you four and why these always give you three, you were 90% of the way there. It's amazing how something so simple can be so earth shatteringly changing, but it really is. So that's the difference between an impure function and a pure function strictly by removing the outside state or things that can change or mutation and still get the same result regardless of what happens and what you change it to.